hello and welcome to my new studio. So it's very much a work in progress, but I wanted you to see how we're getting on. So come on in and I'll show you around. The house itself was built in the 1830s. So we're going to look at the uh, first room, which is the front room here. And when we moved in, this was a bedroom with carpet and um, lilac coloured wall stuff like that so we've done some painting and we've got some white in here and my printing press my little one's been installed in private place because this is at the front of the house and it's what everybody is going to see now i'm very lucky in that printmaker joshua miles is my new neighbor and he is literally across the street there so I've been watching him all week doing his printing and I have severe printmaking envy as I've been mostly decorating, but we'll get there. So Ben's been working really hard and he has now reinstalled the big plan chest that he made me. So that's all sorted out. And then we've got a hanging system to put in here. And the other thing we had were a couple of really rather ugly niches. They were modern, they've been added on, they're not original. And um, since we couldn't find the plaster saints of printmaking, we have filled those in. So I have yet to do all the painting here. So if we go into the next room, this is where I hope to teach. And we have installed some fierce lighting in there because I know when you're doing lino cut and Japanese woodblock printing, you really need to see what you're doing. So get ready for the burnout. And there we go. So in here, this was the breakfast room for the guest house. And it had a lot of blue sparkly wallpaper. And um, you could also a pair of chandeliers, which we've taken out, but you can see there are some wall lights that we need to deal with. And also it needs more paint. It's the uh, wallpaper still showing through, but we, we're getting there with that. And if I get Ben to turn around, we have uh, what was a shelf for decorative plates and is now a shelf for hanging the student rollers. Um, my pens and pencils, they'll be moving once we've built the other studio space, but at the moment it's a really handy place to put them. Um, can't have too many of them, I feel. And then if we come around into the other area, we have lighting to fix in here. The lighting system is really rather odd in the house, so we'll have to go a bit darker here. Ben has built me a beautiful box for my professional rollers. So they're all at home now. And we have yet to build on the other wall. Um, I have my ink cupboard, which is being remade so that all my inks can hang up over there. And then my um, etchy press, Ben has built me a lovely sturdy table so that that is now, let me get around here so I can show you, is now a mobile etching press so we can move that around the studio as needs be. It's got some very sturdy brakes on it so don't worry, it won't be moving when I'm doing the printing. And this space in here, this is a modern extension to the old house which mercifully has a concrete floor, which means that we've been able to put my great big Albion press in here safely. And um, the rest of the house has a cellar, so the rest of the house doesn't have quite as strong floors. So here is my etching press, which was moved up here. All my presses were moved by Art Equipment Limited, who did a brilliant, Karen and Dave, they did a fantastic job moving and calibrating all the presses. So I would really recommend them. Um, the rest of this area is going to change a lot when we get desks and things built into it. And then if we come through here, this little passageway um, is where I keep supplies. And it had very sort of old fashioned rose and gold stripy wallpaper, which we've just hidden under a coat of white paint. And then Ben has built me in record time this shelf for supplies for teaching supplies and stuff so i can keep all my work there so that's where we're at at the moment there are quite a lot of things that will change as we progress 
and um, I'm really proud of how well we've done, especially Ben's work building on top of, on, in the midst of all the chaos of moving. So I hope you'll be joining us in the studio again. If you want to keep track of what we're up to, don't forget to subscribe. And if you've liked the video, do give me a thumbs up because that really helps with the algorithms. And I'll see you in the studio again soon, I hope.